you definitely look like a queen, and I've missed you. Um, of course, you've scattered the internet like you normally do. Yeah. Your outfit at the AMVCA was um, 200 of 100. I understand. I broke the charts, mm -hmm. Abby. Charts. Was talked about. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about you. What have you been up to, pretty much of Lagos? Well, I just had an event, uh, Lagos party. Yeah, Lagos party, the third edition. How was it? It was a huge success, I know. It was a banger. I know. I know you sold out because you didn't even give me an invite, and I was looking forward to coming. And I would yeah. have come and scattered everywhere. How can you invite family members? Family members sometimes they have an invite. Hmm? So tell me, you've been in this nightlife industry for a while now. What right. would you say is your key to success? If someone were to like want to like just get into it right now, what, how would you advise them? If you're in the business of people, which is what I am, in the business of people, yeah. and making them happy, you constantly have to keep up. And when I say keep up with all the generations, old yeah. school, millennium, Gen Z, they just have to be your friends. You have to be able to associate with them, relate with them. So what so, you're trying to say is that you've been able to evolve over time. Definitely. I've changed the game. And, and, and a lot of people ask me sometimes, why do you do this entrance season stuff? I'm like, you know what? Do you want them to forget? Speaking of social media, yeah. your DMs. How crazy is it? I mean, what kind of messages? What is the craziest message or DM picture, video, whatever have you got? I feel like my DM should have a YouTube channel hmm. or like a TV show or something because it is all sorts. I have gotten the weirdest things. OK, let's even start from the trolls. I've had people call me transgender. Mm -hmm. They've called me midget. I'm 5'5". Five five. I'm, I'm far from being a dwarf. They've called me all sorts. You know, some have even said that I am a man that looks like a woman. I'm mm. homosexual. So they've called me all that. Now to the crazy part man of it. Man that looks like a woman. They, yeah. They've called me all sorts. Like she's all woman. What I'm looking at here. All woman. All woman. I am all woman. You can see. <laughs> now aside that, I've also had like really crazy men come to my DM and just send me their private business. You know what I mean? Mm. I've had all sorts. The last time I was on vacation was Zanzibar. I think that was January this year. And there's a picture I posted where I had one arm over my right, right. boob section and I was wearing my Christian Dior um, bikini bottom. And that picture went viral and attracted loads of men to my DM. I had people asking me if $10,000 was sufficient to get me to like SA, Europe, or they're gonna pay me before I even leave Nigeria. They just mm. want to spend the weekend. And I'm like, yo, is this real? <laughs> what actually gave me my big break was Big Brother. A lot of people didn't know this before Big Brother was acting, I was doing stuff. And, I mean, the re records are there, but getting on Big Brother, I got the exposure that I needed. And also when I came out, I did more movies. But then I decided, you know what? I need to build something that's going to be a source of generational wealth, you know, long after I'm gone. And I decided to go into my business, which is uh, professionally Sweet. manufacturing skin and hair care Ooh. product. So we have been talking about if we're not. Let's right. talk about Pretty Mike. Tell me, how did you get into the entertainment industry? What was your big break? The whole Pretty Mike uh, identity, I've always been the guy known for throwing the biggest parties in school, yeah. having the craziest girls. Women have a lot of sisters. And my uncle opened up a club in Keja. And try to give people a different vibe, a different flow, you know, just, I, I figured as an evil man, I'm, I'm a businessman also. I like that, that's an uh, evil man. Right. <laughs> How's your relationship with Alex? Alex and I are cool. You know, I did uh, ask me anything on my Instagram story the other day, and I got a lot of, what's up with you and Alex? And at some point I had to tag Alex, I was like, Alex, come and tell them that we are cool. And she did, she reposted, she was like, we are cool, we are good. So Alex and I are actually cool right now. It's pretty Mike a polygamous or monogamous guy. Very, 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 very money comes. You so you are a one man, one woman. Yes. No I, side chicks, nothing. No. Uh, sometimes I see these things on my social media page, but you know what? That's what people want to hear. But I'm very, very, very intimate. Also a very jealous person. Wow. So, and I'm actually also a, a, a big freak. Okay. So. And I want that to happen with someone I'm comfortable with. Okay. And the word comfortability takes a while for me to build into that. So yeah. And it can only happen with one person. If you're really this person that you portray yourself to be, where, where the rumors about you having six baby mamas, right? Having right. all these, you know, babies out there. Right. Where did it come from? What's the story behind it? What is the truth? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a father of many nations. I, I mean, because of I have X amount of kids that I father does not mean I'm not monogamous. Okay, so nature. you are actually um, confirming that you are a baby daddy to at least six children. It's more than that. I mean, uh, because... How many are we talking about? 12, 13. 
Are uh, you being for real, like, for real, for real, or is this you joking? I'm being 100% for real. It's just that maybe you're not listening to your question very well. When you say baby daddy, does that mean I am their natural I father? I mean that you have no, 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 father. No, 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 That's no. what I mean. You Anybody need go. to go straight okay, so to the point. I am being precise. Am I, am my father being... to at least 12 or 13 kids that I pay their school fees? Yes. And I love those kids with all my heart. Okay, so did I'm your taking sperm, care of them. Did your sperm fertilize the egg that, you know, what came together to produce them? Spiritually, yes. Nah, I give up. I, I don't have strength for this. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. And I think with that, we have come to the end of MTV Base Parks. Give it up for Pretty Mike Amigas. <laughs> and my humble self is <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs>